Good afternoon, folks. Well, we've had some flooding. We had some pretty crazy strong storms last night. And the water is... has broke the bank. It's, uh... You see it's in the yards and stuff down there. Ah, crazy. Oh, of course, every time I talk, the radio turns on. Uh... It wasn't quite that bad this morning when we left. And just got back and... Holy crap, it is way up there. Let's look over this way if I can hold this still. The field's full. The other field is full. My flag is tattered. i got to take that thing down and get that replaced. I don't like leaving a bashed up flag up there. Yeah, there's, there's some water down there. So I raised the elevation of my antenna a couple days ago. And I'm actually starting to worry about it being a giant lightning rod now. It's not grounded, and I don't have any lightning arresters or anything, so uh, I'm going to have to do that. That's probably 15 foot to the top. Yeah, probably 15 foot to the top of the ground plane antenna right there. And then the little beam sticks off that way. And, uh, well, they work pretty good. And, of course, I've just got a guide. Where are the guy wires? right down to where the solar panels anchored on the roof with the uh, 550 cord and it's not a permanent thing pretty much like everything I do it's not a permanent thing but uh, I will be putting up a better mast or tower in the spring I'm sure that 550 will probably hold it uh, I may end up taking it down and anchoring up a little bit higher somewhere too but it withstood the winds we had last night. Of course, I had everything unhooked and uh, had everything turned off. And yeah, I think I, I really need to invest in some lightning arresters and a couple eight-foot ground rods and get this thing taken care of and make sure it's a little bit safer. But it is kind of fun, especially that beam. That beam works really, really well. I can reach way out there and get a hold of people. It's pretty cool. Well, that wind took the leaves off the trees last night, that's for sure. Just about all the green is gone, except for that thing. That old hedge apple, whatever. That thing don't know any better anyway. Yeah. Deer season's coming in, and finally feels like fall. Of course, this morning, or yesterday, it was 70 degrees. <laughs> it's 65 right now. This is November 6th or 7th or something like that. Well... There it is, it finally happened, I guess. It's starting to look mostly like fall now. And I assume in a few more weeks all the all the colors will be gone. Yeah, look at that burning bush right there. That thing really turned bright red. That thing's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess that's about it. For the leaves, anyhow. Kind of cool looking. Well, the solar's still doing its stuff. But, of course, we had to set the clocks back last night, or yesterday morning, whatever. It was Sunday at, like, uh, 2 a.m. or something stupid when we set the clocks back. And now I get home, and it's <laughs> already getting dark. Uh, we don't have a whole lot coming in, and we're not in absorb. We're not in float. And it's the evening, but we got a good bit of charge on there, but I would have been happier if that thing would have been on float tonight, but... Well, uh, what can you do? I've been using this to uh, charge up my little handheld uh, ham radio here. With everything disconnected last night and the big storms coming in, I kind of wanted to be able to hear what was going on in case like uh, Skynet or something was activated or emergency stuff or something like that. Kind of wanted to be able to know what was up, but no, it's charging now, so. Or the battery just about dead. A lot of people were talking on there, and I put a lot of strain on that battery. So, I didn't transmit any, but just listened. I have used this a good bit, and I noticed one time I was transmitting, and I kind of assumed that the battery being low would give me some sort of alert, like a beep or uh, maybe a flashing light or something. Nope, it just shut off, and that was it. I didn't. I was in the middle of a transmission when it when it said good night uh, without actually saying good night. And after I unkeyed the button, I realized I didn't have a, a courtesy tone from the repeater and looked at the radio and it was completely off. Now, well, eh, don't really have many complaints about that radio, but 
I guess if I have to have one, that would be a <laughs> pretty good thing, though. So, uh, along with using the handheld, I have this thing tied up to my ceiling here. <laughs> There's actually a Slim Jim, that Slim Jim roll-up antenna that was in one of the videos, if you follow my videos. I slid it down inside a piece of three-quarter inch uh, PVC, or that's CPVC. CPVC, three-quarter inch. It works pretty good. And it's sealed up. I was actually going to mount it outside and uh, do some experimenting with it and see how it lasted over the winter. And if it did last over the winter, I think that'd be kind of cool. But anyway, I had it thrown up here. And, and like I said, it didn't transmit. It is actually horizontally polarized. Well, sort of horizontally. It's on a, it's on a bit of a slope. I guess that would be square. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's like a little eye screw up there with some pinchy stuff and some paracord. And hooked it over the drapes thing back there and eh, it worked pretty good yeah of course I didn't transmit on it but eh whatever good enough I'm sure everybody's probably getting tired of hearing me talk about nerd radio stuff so uh, <laughs> yeah hope you're all having a good one thanks for watching